Hi everyone and welcome to East London. I'm here to cross three things off my London bucket list. Do you want to come along with me? Rater Samuel Johnson said in 1777, when a man is tired of London, he is tired of life. And I think that means he had a bucket list because every time I try to cross something off my bucket list, another thing goes back on. But today, three things are going to get crossed off. Let's go. Bucket list item number one is just over there. And in fact, just over there, 400 meters, we've got the runway of London City Airport. And I mention that because I've got a UK aviation bucket list as well, but I'm not gonna try and tackle that today. London City Airport is actually on my UK aviation bucket list. It's an airport I've never flown into or out of, but would love to experience it because it's apparently one of the most amazing landings in the UK. Other things on my UK aviation bucket list, the beach landing on Barra with Logan Air. That is going to get done one day. And also the world's shortest commercial flight between Westray and Papa Westray, which on a good day can take as little as 56 seconds. But anyway, that way, bucket list item number one. For as long as I can remember, I've always loved tunnels. It's a condition which I call tunnelophilia a love of tunnels. This one here is the Woolwich Foot Tunnel and it's been on my London bucket list for years, absolute years. Just in case you're interested, it was opened in 1912, 504 meters long, and at its lowest point, it's just three meters below the riverbed of the River Thames. Right, let's go inside. Well, I'm descending into the bowels of the earth. I must say it's a bit grotty down here, but there is CCTV everywhere, so I think I'm safe enough. Yeah, definitely a bit sketchy. I wouldn't want to try this at night time, that's for sure. I'm glad to tell you, there's no sign of any dripping water, so far. Someone just said hello to me. That either kills off the rumour that Londoners aren't friendly, or she recognised me from the videos. They say what goes up must come down. When it comes to tunnels, what goes down must come up. Must be about 100, 150 steps here. Okay, that's bucket list number one off the list. That's the South Rotunda, by the way. Right, number two is down there. But we're not going under the river this time. We're going along it. Bucket list number two item is the Thames Ferry. It's operated by a company with the less than catchy name Uber Boat by Thames Clippers. We're going to travel from here, which is Woolwich, Royal Arsenal, to North Greenwich Pier.
Okay, bucket list item number two is crossed off the list. And you might, if you were paying attention, have seen what number three is. Just over there. Ready ho we've been under the River Thames, we've been along the River Thames, now we have to go over the River Thames. This is the Emirates Air Line, which I think is a pretty clever name. At its highest point, it's 90 metres above the river, it takes around 10 minutes to cross, or 5 minutes in rush hour, and it's exactly one kilometre long. Now it's currently sponsored by Emirates, but I believe that deal is due to expire this year, that's 2022, it's the summer of 2022, and at the moment I don't think another sponsor has been found. So let's hope Transport for London keep it running. Right, let's get our ticket and let's get on board. It doesn't matter where you are in the world, cable cars are always such a groovy way of getting around. I can't resist them. Item number three, whoa. <laughs> and I managed to get the car all to myself. We just passed a car there and there was a girl screaming her lungs out. It's not that scary. Because I paid by contact this card, I'm not quite sure how much this was, but I think it's around £5 one way, which is definitely worth it. Ah, that's where I left my super yacht. You show me a tunnel, a ferry and a cable car in a two hour period and I'll show you a very happy man. Anyway guys, that's three items crossed off my London bucket list. No doubt in the next few months they'll be replaced by other things because as Samuel Johnson said, a man who's tired of London is tired of life. Anyway guys, thanks very much for coming along on this little adventure and I'll see you next time.